welcome my name is eric from games of hyper and today i want to show you a walkthrough of the uh, skill level system and before we are going into the example map of the skill level system i wanted to show you um, this populated example of how could you use it in your own game so let's check it out i've set up this uh, this scene uh, so uh, we can check how it would work so for instance uh, there's foliage laying around and i'm able to pick it up and when picking it up i'm getting experience points in this case for foraging and also for the stone let's see if we can find something else yep and of course we have a crafting menu and when we are able to craft uh, for instance let's create this wooden pellet right and I think we will get XP. And yes, we do. We get XP for construction. So that's quite cool. So let's see what else. Of course, we need to bind it as a level requirement. So in this awesome loot chest, there is this basic iron longsword. And I really want to be able to equip this iron longsword. However, it states uh, I need to have a character level of 2 uh, uh, to be able to equip it. So in this case, I am not able to. So how to level up our character level? In this case, I have set up an example. Um, here we have two characters. And if I kill one of these characters, uh, I will get combat XP and level XP. Bam. And we have leveled up our combat and also our character level so let's check it out in our inventory and yes we are now able to equip this cool iron longsword yes okay um this is enough of this populated example let's dive into the uh, example map i will see you there so now we are in the example map and when you open this project uh, this is what you will see uh, first we'll state okay what kind of dependencies do we have uh, this system uses an enhanced input system for the controls um, and it also shows which components add uh, to be adding to your character um, after that uh, uh, you get a uh, like in a tutorial room on okay how to handle um, a kind of event so in this case it says okay what are the capabilities of this uh, this level manager but also how to trigger something so i've created an uh, event at xp and the only thing that you would need to do is call that anywhere that you would like you, it's an enumeration based on okay which uh, which scale do we need to uh, add the xp to and uh, what is the amount uh, so you can do that anywhere that you want so on a kill on an equip on uh, anything that you can think of so yeah let's dive into the example room and the example room the first thing that you will see is okay uh, gain xp by a pickup so in this case i have set up a berry i can pick it up i get five xp for it the stick i also get five xp for it and the header 10 xp and uh, probably the stick is not set in the data table i need to enter a 7.5 and it will work perfectly and also, you would want to gain XP by learning. Uh, for instance, in, in games like uh, Skyrim or whatever, sometimes you find a book of knowledge and then a certain uh, skill. So in this case, I made a book of mining and a book of cooking. I'm able to uh, check it out and it says, okay, uh, uh, this book, uh, if, I, if I open it, uh, it will give me 100 XP in mining. So sure, why not? Let's try it out. Yep. I leveled up in mining. Um, we can also see that in our uh, uh, attribute tab. This is what you see here is included in the system. Um, and it will show um, what is the current level and what is the amount of XP uh, uh, that you have uh, accumulated, but also how much XP do you have in this current level. For instance, we have 50 XP in level 2. However, the total XP that we have gained is 100, and that's 
because uh, of, uh, of the book uh, that we consumed or learned. It also shows the percentage. So in this case, we could also pick it up again because I have an infinite respawn. So like this, and now we have a total of 200 XP, uh, 82 in this level, and we are level three. Okay. Um, the level requirements for actions. Of course, if we have the sword, uh, also that we just saw in that uh, example, we want uh, to be able to say, okay, you need to have a specific level for that. In this case, the card level. By going over the pet, I am able to equip it right now. How awesome is that? Um, and of course, everything is data table driven. Uh, so look at this example on how to set up uh, uh, an event for instance for pickup or crafting or anything else and open these blueprints to check out okay which event do i call and how can i set it up like so okay i think this gives a great overview of what the capabilities of the system are but also how you can use it in your own project um, of course, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me and I will uh, try to get back uh, as soon as possible. Thank you very much and I hope you have a very nice day. Congrats, you have reached the end of this video. And of course, I hope you liked it. So please let me know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, feel free to reach out anytime, for instance, via Discord or Patreon. And... Don't forget to check out one of the videos that I will be posting somewhere here. And of course, I hope you have a very nice day. Bye.